Oh, well. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Muhammad Ali, and Ryan Upchurch. What do these three people have in common? You might be asking yourselves, what do these three people have in common? Well, they're the top three people on John Wick's speed dial, but other than that, they are the people's champions. Muhammad Ali, nicknamed the people's champ. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, back in his wrestling days, was also nicknamed the people's champ. But most importantly, the one, the only, Ryan Upchurch is the people's champ. And I think we've waited long enough for this one, so I'm not going to talk anymore. Let's jump into Upchurch's new music video, People's Champ. Are you ready for some church? Let's go. Alright, so in the intro, straight away, we can see the boxing glove. So I'm assuming that this means we are not going to see Upchurch jumping from the top rope with his elbow first, cracking some skulls in a wrestling ring. I think this is more along the Muhammad Ali people's champ side of things. That organ beat, though, man. I'm a different breed. I am what you need. I just plant the seed and create MCs that grow up like me. NASCAR. It's not wrong. He's not wrong. Not only is he a different breed in the point that I've literally been saying this since day one, that you cannot compare Upchurch to anybody, just try it. Try right now to compare Upchurch to any other rapper in the game. But also, the amount of people that come after him and just like come after him with like a diss track or something like that, just to, just to like boost their own career, the guy literally does create people. Maybe not intentionally, but he definitely creates tons and tons, tons of new rappers in the game. We're on TV, group of number three. Here's a check of flag. Let me grab a course and take a picture with this coat. That Sterling Marlin sponsors only rednecks gon' know that. Whitey stomping. God damn it! See, this is where this is where it does not pay to be a British guy. Because when he says rednecks only gonna know that, that's not me! <laughs> I'm just some random British guy over the other side of the ocean going like this. Yes. What the hell is he talking about? Damn! It was like a West Virginia toe tap. Sick as fucking not rocking the hazmat or dumbass. Only rocking this Caucasian baddie with a fat ass. Yeah, whip that thing like a brand new Hellcat. Drilling holes in the game like a stuck thermostat. Don't act like you won't come back if you reach him from the door mat. You say you want a feet? Here's two. Where the door at? He's you say you want a feet? Here's two. Where the door at? Rappers fake working. They ain't never had a sword back looking at a hammer and nails like it's an ancient artifact. Another thing, another thing, right? It's crazy when you think I've literally only known this guy existed for three months, right? But in those three months, I've learned as much as I can about him. And one thing with the church, man, one thing I've learned about Up Church is that the guy has worked. And I don't just mean worked in the booth now, because he does. He puts the time and the effort in when it comes to constructing a song. Most people play some random ass beat they find online and just put some lyrics, blah, 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 a catchy chorus, blah, and boom, there's your song. No. No, 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 no. Upchurch is constructing a straight-up mad scientist masterpiece every time he gets into the booth. But before that, the guy was in construction. The guy was working. He was working with his hands. He was bleeding. He was putting the time and effort in to something else. And now look at where he is. But even though he is where he is now, the guy still puts work into everything he does. Not only musically, but outside. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you follow him on Instagram, you'll see the guy is building a house. He's there. He's on the floor every day. He's putting the time and work into this house. It's not just someone else's job. It's his job. The guy is as down to earth and as humble as people come. And no matter where he goes in his career, he's never, ever changed. Raps are art, in fact. If the goals are back, prepare to get slashed. Hope the doctor used the hemostat in med class. Oh, damn. I'm the people's champ. I know what they say, but your boy don't care. Oh, damn. Yeah, I got the stamp certified in hip hop. I'm a first string player. Oh, damn. I'm the people's champ. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to pause it. I don't want to pause it. That's the other thing, man. Church sees everything. Church has got eyes everywhere. Literally. A few videos back, a guy posted a comment in my video and was like, oh, I think Church got rid of his Lamborghini, you know? I think Church got rid of his Lamborghini. And Church literally replied to him, like, nah, I still got my Lamborghini. The guy's everywhere. There's like nine churches in one place at one time, man. The guy is everywhere.
give my pe Also, also, did you guys see the video he chucked up of him whipping those cars around the parking lot, man? Like, I, at one point, I swear he was going straight into the trees, but the guy kept it under control. Especially on those conditions. He's pissing down with rain, he's f going flooring it in muscle cars around the car park. Also, I love, I love that the record label tried to capture Upchurch with their puppet strings, and Upchurch just gave him middle finger, and they're like, what about if we touch you with a Lamborghini? And he was like, man, fuck your Lamborghini! And went our boy's own ass Lamborghini, and now it gathers dust, and the guy's whipping around in the rain in his muscle cars. Pure, 100%, awesome! In the IV, a blood coming out of me so I can live through my lyrics and write till my heart beat. I wasn't invited here. That fucking bar. That fucking bar. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. Listen to this. Stop certified in hip hop. I'm a first string player. Give my pen a IV, a blood coming out of me so I can live through my lyrics and write till my heart beat. I wasn't invited here. That fucking bar, man, is as cold as the ice in his veins. I showed up without asking anybody who says something getting dropped like being ass breaking up. No way! <laughs> Did he just go there? Oh shit! No way! No way! No way! No fucking way! No fucking way! Reload, reload that! Reload that! I showed up without asking anybody who says something getting dropped like being ass breaking up. No fucking way! Even what, two years, two, three years? Well, how long ago did Ben Askren get his ass knocked out by Jake Paul? How long ago? The guy from the USC get literally knocked out cold by Jake Paul. How long ago that happened? And even now, the guy cannot escape the shots that are still coming his way. That is gonna be tattooed on his forehead until the day he dies. And fuck it up, Judge, it's just reminding that guy, what a fucking embarrassment, man! I can't believe he went there. <laughs> the name drop, man. Fucking brilliant. That's hilarious. Up the next morning, eat a bowl of milk and aspirin, reading tweets about yourself until your eyeballs feel like plastic. Eyes looking pink, my shit about you becomes classic. Huh. Me calling you a pussy is your career's biggest asset. All I hear is I'm the goat, well, I'm a grizzly bear, you faggot. My enemies, the Taliban, I'm full metal. Those shoes, by the way, those shoes look tons like the shoes that Marty McFly wore in Back to the Future. And I'm pretty sure those were Nike, right? Those were Nike shoes. And he's a Reebok. But yeah, I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure they're not the same shoes, but man, they, they, look, they look very similar. Yeah, it look very similar. Is this is this church telling us he's getting in a ring? Is church getting in a ring? Man, I would not want to be the poor motherfucker who gets in the ring with this crazy son of a bitch. Check it. And this mass murder mine on the mic is now I have it. Every time I drop an album, I cop me a couple caskets. Oh, damn. I'm the big Oh, we're going back into that chorus, my friends. Here we go. And every time I drop an album, I cop me a couple caskets. Oh, damn. I'm the people's tab. I know what they say, but your boy don't care. Oh, damn. Yeah, I got Just saying, if this song is anything to go by for this album, for this fucking album release, this album is gonna be fucking insane. Bro, everyone can suck my balls. Imagine if I didn't like. Who the fuck opens up a verse? Who opens up a verse with this fucking line? I'm a first string player. Overall, everyone can suck my balls. Imagine. Overall, everyone can suck my balls. <laughs> Man, I fucking love this guy. If I didn't like you when I pop me a couple of Adderall. Behind me, no lateral. Hail Mary, faux show. No end in zone going down white two box up hard. And you won't have to miss me because the bullets always miss me. My this ain't a freebie. Cost a hundred racks for you to eat my debris. And good luck to the mainstream. I see my this ain't a freebie. It costs a hundred racks for you to eat my debris. The guy, man, the guy, the guy, the guy needs some respect on his lyricism game. He really does. When like when people put him in, when people talk about rappers, and they talk about like today's rappers. You need to chuck up church in there when you're talking about some of the best lyricists in the game currently because the guy fucking deserves it. Good luck to the mainstream. I seen that you tried to dub me, but there's only one Tennessee nominee, and I'm that honky. And for the record, if I was Morgan Wallen, I'd tell the label, check the wallet, remind them who makes the dollars for him. No, I don't dislike him. If anything, I got his back. Even if he said cracker red his skin was pitch black. Oh, that's another thing I want to talk about that I want to talk about. Even then, when Upchurch doesn't like somebody, I'll talk about this at the end of the video because I want to talk about it a little bit longer. But even then, Upchurch says he doesn't like somebody, the guy still shows so much respect and, and humility towards them. Damn, I'm the people's tab. I know what they say, but your boy don't care. Oh, damn. Yeah, I got the stamp. I'm going to break this jam. I'm going to break the jam. I know what they say, but your boy don't care. Oh, there's what? There's a few seconds left. 
He's not gonna like just throw in his, a moon at the end of the video, is he? He's not gonna moon the whole audience. No? No Easter eggs? Alright, we're alright, we're alright. We didn't miss anything, we didn't miss anything. Oh my fucking lord! Oh fuck me, man. Like I said, if this song is anything to go by for the rest of the album, we are in for something truly special. We are in for something truly special. Oh, I'm so excited, man. I've, been, I've literally been so excited to hear this one. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, man. I can't wait to, I can't wait to hear the rest of the album. For anyone watching this right now who hasn't bought the album, if you can afford to, buy the album, support the church, man. I'm going to do it myself, but i got to wait. I want to see if, um, I want to check out a lot of these songs for the first time with you guys. I mean, I could buy it and just not listen to it. I'll probably do that. Yeah, but if you can, buy the album, support the guy. If you can't, then at least you can do my friends. After you watch this video, go back to this music video right now and just watch it again. Watch it like 10 times. Just blow this video up as much as you can because the church man fucking deserves it. The church man deserves 100 million views on every single video that hits the platform 100%. 100%. So the second you finish this video, you go back and you check out the full video. 100, hey, you got, come on, come on. It's a free, it's a what, three minute long song? You can do it. You can do it. Take, watch it three times, boom. 10 minutes of your day, bam, done. Go do that, go do that. Anyway, like I said, there was one thing I want to talk about. When it comes to church, because you, if any of you follow him on YouTube, which I'm guessing a lot of you do, if any of you follow his like regular rambling videos that he puts up on YouTube, then you'll see that so many people come after him. So many people call him branding and stuff. They're like, man, the, you know, trolls come out the fucking wooker, blah, blah, church is a racist, blah. And they just come out of nowhere and just start making up shit and just calling him names and all this sort of stuff. And what does church do? What does church do? Does he just record a video where he just swears at them, yells at them, tells them they're idiots? No. The amount of times I've seen this guy approach a hater or a troll with the most intelligent, calm prowess I've seen anybody, like anybody, including some of like the political leaders in the country who are supposed to be doing this as a full-time fucking job, church literally comes into the game, comes into the video, and will just t verbally strip them butt naked. He will just come in and he'll go, he'll go break down everything they've said and just prove them wrong, 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 fuck off. Literally every single time. The, it's just, it's just crazy. It's crazy because when you watch a video like this and you see church throwing hands and church punching the bag and church doing all this sort of stuff, right? And he's, you know, his people champ. He's talking about Muhammad Ali pretty much. When you see this sort of stuff, all I watch and think is, no doubt the church man can throw hands. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He put You put church in the same sentence as Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Muhammad Ali. I'm not bad at fucking Ali. No doubt I, I guarantee he can. I would not want to be the guy that gets in the ring. But church's most, most dangerous weapon is not this. It's this. This guy, man. This guy is one of the best lyricists in the game. And that only not shows when it comes to his music, but also when it just comes to his random videos he uploads. Because he will verbally strip all of these trolls that come out of the woodwork after him. And he will do it in the kindest way ever. And it's just nuts when you actually think about how humble and kind he actually is. There's no one like it. How many people can you just brand a racist with no evidence? Go, ah, oh, he's racist. No evidence. And that person doesn't just flip out. That person just comes back and has a conversation with you. That person just talks to you about, no, you're wrong. You're wrong because of this and you're wrong because of that. How many times can... I, I don't know anyone other than church who's in the position that church is in who approaches these situations with as much of a level head as this guy. I'm just saying... I'm just saying, the guy is as humble as fuck, and I think that is probably why it it, it didn't it took me what one two songs hearing this guy to become an instant fan, instant fan. My friends, this album is gonna be fucking amazing. This album's gonna be amazing. I love this guy. I love this guy, and if this song is anything to go by, we are in for one hell of a treat. One hell of a treat. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video the whole way through, for liking, subscribing, and supporting my tiny little channel here, hidden away in the corners in the dark cloakroom of YouTube. If you found me, congratulations. You are one of the rare few. Anyway, go support the church, man, any way you can. Any way you can. Blow this up as much as you can. I love each and every one of you. Have yourselves a fucking awesome weekend. You guys deserve it. And as always, you will see this crazy random motherfucking British guy right here in the next video.